adapted to this to actually start to create uh, some really, really nice uh, complex light patterns within Maya. So we'll essentially do this by creating our own custom gobos. So what we can start by doing is going to actually create a light. So let's go to create lights and we can actually use any of our light types for this but I really prefer to use the spotlight because this gives us a tremendous amount of control and is much much easier to actually aim and point our gobo exactly where we need. So I'm gonna start with a spotlight and we can come in and with this light selected just go to look through selected and we can try to come back here and aim this light to where it encompasses a little bit more of our scene alright so now let's take this light go into its attributes and we can plug our gobo into either the color or the intensity it really doesn't necessarily matter which in my case though I'm gonna plug it into the color so let's go into uh, plug that in we'll click on the uh, little checkered button Let's go to plug in a 2D file texture, in my case. And le now let's plug in the image that we want to use. So if you take a look inside the source images directory for this intro to lighting project, let's scroll down and we're going to look for this tree gobo. And you can see we have sort of this black and white cutout pattern here. So essentially what we're going to do is once we plug this into our lights color, we'll now have white light being projected in these areas and black light being projected in all of these areas which essentially is the same thing as having no light whatsoever now if we wanted to we could actually come in and start to add coloration to this if we actually wanted our gobos to be a certain color but just for the sake of demonstration I'll leave mine as just black and white so let's go ahead and click open and now all we should have to do is render within the viewport and now we can actually see the uh, texture itself being projected through this light. So just like uh, we predicted, we now have some nice bright light that's coming through in these white areas. And in these areas that were shaded black in the texture, we essentially have no uh, light coming through those areas. And what's nice about this is the fact that because this is plugged into our light's color, we still have the freedom to come in and adjust that light's intensity. So maybe if we wanted to make this light a little bit brighter, you can come in and just brighten that up. You can see now we're starting to get just a little bit brighter light in here. We can also come back to this light itself and start to introduce things like shadows. So we'll get into uh, lights. We can turn on either depth map shadows or ray trace shadows. Either one of these should work just fine. And now if we take a look, we can now actually start to see some of the shadows that are being cast by this light and some of the other objects that are uh, within this light's path. So really this can become a very, very simple way of starting to uh, kind of fake detail that may not necessarily be there. If we had this tree that was actually uh, some kind of an animated texture sequence, we could actually plug that animated texture into our light and then have the appearance of leaves and branches that may be moving outside. But really it's just a very, very simple texture and lighting trick. Okay, so that's a look at how we can start to take this real-world concept of using gobos for our light sources and actually apply these to our digital Maya light.